You know, a lot of people say to me, Lee, Lee, you should take up golf. It's really good for you. Do you know what I say? Fuck off. <laughs> I mean, it's a good game. I understand, you know, people playing it. I understand, but I don't get it. A game you only play on one glove. What's that? You don't play it wearing one fucking shoe, do you? <laughs> you say to a golfer, why the glove? They go, oh, grip. I'll tell you what, why don't you put two gloves on? Guess what that is? More fucking grip. <laughs> I attempted, I actually attempted to play golf once and I nearly snapped my spinal cord in nine places trying to get one of them fucking sand traps. Whose idea was it to put a stretch of sand in the middle of some woodland? Well, that's just a mirage, but the other way round. <laughs> you know, you're playing a game in the woods, and <laughs> no, you're not, you're on the fucking beach. <laughs> that's like going surfing and someone saying, oh, watch them oak trees on the way in, won't you? And golf is the only game where you get someone to help you play it. The caddy does everything for you. Carries your clubs, tells you what club to use, how far the hole is. Well, I'd do a bit of sport if there was someone doing half the work for me. That'd be great if you were swimming. There's some bloke by your side going, anything you need? <laughs> uh, not at the moment, no. You sure? There's a Starbucks around the corner. <laughs> i tell you what, you can drag me the rest of the way. That's lovely, thanks. <laughs> and who come up with a scoring system for golf? Birdie, that's a point in golf. Birdie. I reckon the bloke who came up with the scoring system was heavily distracted that day. You know, they went like, <laughs> what's that? Huh? That's a birdie. <laughs> <laughs> what's that? Huh? That's an eagle. <laughs> <laughs> what's that? It's a bogey. And par, 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 that's a point in golf, par. That's a word that ain't even fucking finished yet. <laughs> You're four under par. Ha. No, just par. <laughs> Fuck off. And they say golf is good exercise for you. What exercise? Golf is the only game where you get a lift to the next hole on that bleeding golf buggy. <laughs> what lazy bugger come up with that? <laughs> You know you never see that in other sports, do you? That'd be good in the marathon, wouldn't it? On your mouth, get set. Go! Taxi! <laughs> Where are you going? Finish line, please! <laughs> right, I watched the other day. Tennis. Tennis is one big bolt up. I swear to you, because in tennis, I don't know, it's like, who invented it? Some cheat. In tennis, they go, <laughs> 15 love! 15? Shut up! One! <laughs> Where did the 15 from? You can't score a goal in football and they go 15! <laughs> in tennis they go 30, love! Fuck off! <laughs> Two! <laughs> it's him on that high chair, he's making it up. He's he, he sat up there like some kid who can't eat his dinner properly. He's like, ah, 15! Ah, 30! Juice! Juice! I want some juice! Cricket, cricket, I don't get the scoring system in cricket. It's the only game in the world where you hit that solid ball into the crowd, you score more points. I'm serious, you take out a few rows of the crowd, six points. And the bloke hitting the ball, he's wearing an helmet, he's all padded up, and he's hitting it towards people wearing a vest and fucking shorts. <laughs> you know, it's like... It's like... <laughs> he's just not me case out. <laughs> but fuck it, he's scoring a six. <laughs> They should apply that to other sports, it might make them more exciting, you know, like darts. <laughs> Suddenly he turns around to face the crowd. <laughs> Six points! <laughs> and rugby, I don't get fucking rugby. Is it, have, you, have you seen the New Zealand team? Have you seen them? They do all that kind of dance before the game starts. <laughs> That's to scare the other side. Fucking hell, we should come up with one. We might win a few more games. I'm telling you, they should go like that. Are you ready, lads? One, two, three, you've got to speed it. <laughs> Making your mind. Oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> The New 
Zealand team do all that, what if they lose? It's a bit embarrassing, isn't it? After you've given it the big one, have they got a humiliating dance if they lose? <laughs> <laughs> so, boxing. I, I, I used to box when I was a kid. My father made me box when I was a kid to try and toughen me up because I was a twat then as well, you know? <laughs> I was always good in the ring. I always came like third. <laughs> I don't get boxing. I don't get the weights. The flyweight. What the fuck's that? If he was a real flyweight, you'd never hit him. It's like. <laughs> He'd disappear, then you'd spot him in, button the lights. Come here, you twat. <laughs> And have you noticed whenever you watch the boxing, when the boxer goes back to his corner, his corner man, well, as soon as he sits down, gets that little line and starts eyeing in his face. Because <laughs> he sprays it and starts, so what's he trying to do, get the creases out? <laughs> He's got a little ironing board just outside the ring, like that big pile of fighters in a laundry basket. <laughs> so behind on me fighters. <laughs> You don't see that in other sports, do you? In the swimming, they don't get out in between lanes, hang them up on one of those washing lines that go round. <laughs> get back in the pool. I love the football. I love watching football. I love football. I love the goalkeepers. They make me laugh, you know? Have you noticed every time they throw the ball out to a player, goalies? They always do it like that grumpy old fucker when you was a kid and you wanted your ball back because it went in his garden. They're exactly the same. You want this ball, do you? You want this ball, do you? You want this? What have I told you about playing down this end now? Fuck off down your own end. <laughs> I like it when they take a goal kick because we notice just before they kick the ball, they do that little skip. It's really weird. They go like... Ah. <laughs> Some goalkeepers measure every single step, like that, and then just before they kick the ball, they have, like, an attack of physical Tourette's. They go like... <laughs> so many players getting done. The next team to win the FA Cup, they'll have to parade it through the town in a fucking prison bus. <laughs> they'll have been showing you that cut through one of those tiny little teeny windows. We won! We won! It's only a matter of time before the whole team are shackled together in chains. That would make a great war. Then it's like, run, four, two, four. No, flat back 11, stay together, flat back 11. <laughs> There'd be a bloke, like, dribbling with the ball. There's ten other players behind him all doing the same. Like, oh, <laughs> fucking slow down, slow down. <laughs> I'm getting old. People keep telling me to slow down. Lee, slow down. People keep asking me to play golf. Fuck off. <laughs> I don't know anything about any sport. I'm an idiot. I can't play golf. I can't play any fucking sport. I don't know anything about golf. I'm like, oh, do you play golf? Wow. What position do you play? <laughs> table tennis. I quite like table tennis, but I always feel sorry for that poor plastic, tiny white ball they play with in the table tennis. You know, because it's always optimistic going across the table during a game. It's like... <laughs> but those Chinese players, they hit the shit out of them balls. It's only when they stop it and you can see all the damage, all that smashing around is done. Because all table tennis balls always land on the floor the same way, like... average football fan is a schizophrenic. I really do. Have you ever been sat next to one of them at a football match? You'd be having a perfectly normal conversation, and then suddenly they go like, ah, yes, what I said. Ah, you fucking twat! <laughs> Those are the fucking free kick, but you twat! And they sit back down as if nothing's happened. What was you saying? <laughs> so all football managers, to me, they just look like those pissheads up the park on the park benches. They're exactly the same. You ever look at them, you know, they keep getting up, you know. There's a big debate going on in football at the moment about players faking injuries, trying to con the ref, trying to get a free kick, you know, waste a bit of time. It's fucking out of order. You never see the ref doing that, do you? Faking injury to con the players. You know, and all the players are around him going like, Yeah, fuck you, ref! You never see the ref go, Oh! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> you know, you're right, ref? Yeah, 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 I'll be all right, yeah, I'll be all right. <laughs> Let's just play, eh? <laughs> 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 
The only sport where you can't fake an injury? Boxing. Ah! Ah! Good. It's working. <laughs> I love the medics. I love the medics at a football match. You know, you see their little face light up when a player goes down, they're like, ah, oh, it's the engine, is it me? It's the engine. You know, they run on the field, I'm coming! <laughs> Have you seen their face when the player stands up? Oh, bitch. <laughs> I'm trying a new gas bottle. <laughs> these, these footballers faking injury, it's out of order. Do you know I put a stop to it overnight? Do you know I make them stop doing it? They should do what they do at the horse racing. <laughs> You're ahead of me on this one. I mean, you're fucking clever, mind. In the horse racing, right, if a horse goes down injured, they shoot the poor fucker right there on the field. <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> Pedigree, John! <laughs> horse racing is the only sport in the world where they try and fake being really healthy. You know, the horse is on the ground, he sees that bloke walk on with a gun, he's like, no, fucking wait, wait! <laughs> I like it when they interview footballers before the match. They always say the same thing. They're like, so dim. You know, they say stuff like, well, I'm just going to go out there and try and score, really. <laughs> well, yes. <laughs> well, you suddenly just realised, have you? It's a good job you had this interview, isn't it? <laughs> Otherwise, they'd have wandered onto the pitch and gone, no, I know I'm here for something. <laughs> There's not a lot to remember. They even get little kids to fucking lead them onto the pitch. <laughs> Why do they do that? Would they just wander off somewhere, would he? He's in the car park again. <laughs> I'll get him. Come on! <laughs> You've got a game of football, ain't you? Yeah. <laughs> football. Here, I went horse riding once. I went horse riding. My mate Steve took me. He said, Lee, for fuck's sake, relax. Take a day off. And I went horse riding with Steve, you know? And I've never been before. I was really nervous, you know? And I didn't realise horse riding is all about rhythm. It's all about there's a slow walk. There's that one. <laughs> yeah, this is quite good, Steve. <laughs> I'm not on the horse yet. I'm just really nervous. <laughs> But then there's the trot, the trot. And if you're a seasoned horse person, you know the trot's all about rhythm. It's all right, I know what I'm doing. I've been doing this for years. <laughs> Up and down, just like that. If you don't know that rhythm, God, your ass takes a fucking hammer in. <laughs> you're on that horse going. <laughs> Make it stop, Steve. I fucking hate horses. <laughs> and the gallop, fucking hell. <laughs> And every big game now, they have like an opera singer come on and sing the national anthem. He comes on the middle of the pitch and goes, ha, ha. What the fuck's opera, opera got to do with football? You wouldn't get a bunch of football fans at an opera concert, introduce Pavarotti, would you? <laughs> Pavarotti, come on, let's hear it for him. Who ate all the pies? Who ate all the... <laughs> you fat butt. You know, you wouldn't have that. <laughs> <laughs>